Hey Crowd Vibers, welcome to part two of this tutorial series I'm producing called How to Prepare for a Reggae Music Festival. Today we're going to cover pre-festival logistics. That includes your festival checklist and what to pack. I divided the checklist into two sections, know before you go and research you should do before you arrive. Let's jump right in. First on your checklist, make sure you read the emails the festival sends you. They are chock full of information. Next, check your tickets. Are they electronic or paper? Download or print your tickets before heading to the festival. Don't leave fate to the hotel printer. Don't leave fate to crappy mobile service when you're standing at the gate ready to get in. Be sure to bring any proof of purchase and identification if you have tickets at will call. If you receive bracelets in advance, don't forget them. Keep those wristbands on your person or in a safe place. Don't put them in a checked bag. And typically you don't wanna put them on until the day of the festival. Sometimes the festival people wanna actually see you put the bracelet on at the gate. Don't put them on too tightly. Use two fingers like this to keep your bracelets nice and loose. Wow, that's quite the first half of the checklist. Next up, let's look at research to do before you go. Again, the festival website and emails should be really helpful here. Are you driving and parking? Know what the parking situation is before you pull up to the festival. Is the festival providing shuttles? Read all those details before you show up. Are you taking public transportation? Know the fares and the pickup locations and drop off locations. Download any transit apps to your phone in advance and prepay or add value to your fare if you're able to. Are you taking any ride shares? Check to see if Lyft and Uber are operating where the festival is. Are you taking scooters or bike shares? You might need to check with the local municipality, city or county for any rules and regulations. Hopefully the festival team has done this for you, but if not, it's up to you. All right, our checklist is looking pretty good. Moving on, what should you pack? First, check the website for items that are allowed and then pay attention to items that are not allowed. Don't forget to pack your wristbands or your printed tickets. Here are some essential items on our list, again, if allowed by the event. An empty water bottle or sealed bottle of water, clear bag or backpack, be sure to check their bag policy, cash, credit cards, wallet, ID, sunscreen, chapstick, Advil, hats, long sleeves, rain gear, and some supported foot gear, and maybe a good pair of socks. Speaking of rain gear, check the weather forecast before you go and be prepared for any elements. Don't rely on umbrellas, as many events don't allow them. Other useful items include inexpensive shades, poster holders, plastic bags or sandwich bags to cover your phone if it rains, chairs, fanny packs, or maybe you don't want to carry all these things and you want to go minimal. You do you. Well, that's it for part two. Next in the series, more logistics. This includes day of logistics, navigating the festival, and a few safety tips. But first, a quick bonus. I'm super stoked to try out my new collapsible chair. It simply twists open and locks for a seat and collapses down for easy transit. I can't wait to try this out at Reggae Rise Up. If you like the crowd vibes, smash the like button, share your favorite videos, and subscribe to get alerts for new stuff. Thanks, y'all. Enjoy the crowd vibes.